Hello, I'm Sam Rogers, uh, Additive Design Lead at Gravity Industries. We make the five turbojet engine powered jet suit, which allows a human to fly with kind of the most minimal amount of equipment possible. So this was originally invented by Richard Browning and he had a hunch that by augmenting the human body with a type of propulsion, perhaps they might be able to control it enough to be able to fly. And the result is this, which is the jet suit, which allows you to fly with the most minimal amount of equipment possible, which happens to be five turbojet engines, uh, two on each arm and one on the back. Uh, and uh, he, uh, Richard went from developing it with readily available materials, uh, kind of extruded aluminium and just rapidly iterating it and testing it as fast as possible uh, until now where myself, uh, who joined kind of quite early on in the journey with uh, another engineer called Alex, um, we developed the suit to a point where it's now fully 3D printed. My specialty is, is designing for 3D printing and that's how we've got to this point, which is a fully nylon, steel and aluminium 3D printed jet suit. So each arm mount has about 440 newtons, so approximately 44 kilos of thrust. Um, the overall suit has 143 kilos of thrust uh, uh, overall. Um, the maximum speed we've got to, uh, uh, Richard did the world record of 86 miles an hour um, in Brighton recently in the UK. Um, there we have about uh, seven suits in operation at the moment and we're doing a race series where we're going to have five of us, myself, uh, some of the other engineers and guys and girls from different backgrounds all flying in uh, Bermuda for our first race uh, at the end of March. Uh, so that's going to be pretty fun where we're going to have a load of people flying. If people end up in the water, a load of steam is thrown up. It looks pretty cool. It's going to be quite a spectacle, so it should be fun. So it's kind of like those first scenes in, uh, in the Marvel films where you have the engines on the legs um, he, he tried that, but it turns out your legs pedal, so it's quite hard to control it with the legs, but he did manage a, for the first six second flight, which proved this was possible with engines on the legs and two on each arm. But he started, he tried three on each arm, refining the system to the point where we have this curtain of thrust, one third on your arm, one third on the other arm, and one third on your back, which is high above your center of gravity, so it's nice and stable. Um, and this turned out to be the best, the, the best kind of optimization of the system. Since then, we've played around a lot with the geometry of the engines, such that it's easier to fly. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're constantly kind of evolving it. You can take off from your two feet wherever you stand uh, and travel to another place that you want to land that's the size of your two feet. So you don't need a big landing area and it doesn't matter what's between you and the point you want to go, you can just fly over it. So there's a cool mobility solution there. It's very loud because it's jet engines. Um, but it's really cool to show to people because it gets, it gets a great reaction because it's, it's moving a lot of air at once, it's very visceral to watch, um, it's got a great sound when it starts up, so it's really cool to show to people, which we've been lucky to do at a load of events around the world. There's lots of opportunity there. It's not something you're going to kind of use on a day-to-day -day basis because it's so loud, um, but maybe in the future something like this, using just you, the human ability to control something dynamically by augmenting your body, that could be a future version of what this becomes. While, while I'm flying the suit, it's really cool because I can look down and think, oh, I remember designing those parts. So uh, for me, that's, that's quite special, that's really nice. Um, but generally, uh, as, as flying goes, you, you kind of bring on the power, vector down, and feeling your feet leave the floor for the first time is, is really, really cool because suddenly you're supported by your arms, which is not as bad as it sounds. It's not as intensive as it sounds to fly. Um, but uh, yes, you leave, you leave the ground and you're now able to completely, be completely free in 3D space and move around. So that's, that's a really, really cool feeling. And especially landing, it's the interface between going from flying to the ground that is, is actually really fun. So it's landing and taking off, doing aggressive launches. That's what's really enjoyable about it. Like a superhero launch.